Docs Marine, open seven days a week from 8 to 5. Sales, rental, service, all in one place. It's at Docs Marine, 5803 Eichard Ridge Road. The individuals depicted have been arrested but not convicted at the time of story postings. This information does not infer or imply guilt of any actions or activity other than their arrest. We make no warranty or guarantee as to the accuracy of this data. You're watching the WHKY News, and this is the Crime Report. I'm Ralph Mangum. WHKY's Ariana Mack leads the way with some Caldwell County arrests, including two for trafficking heroin or opium. A woman was arrested for possession of Schedule II controlled substance. 38-year-old Jessica Marie McMahon of Circle Street in Lenore was arrested on Tuesday by probation and parole officers. She was charged with three felonies, probation violation, trafficking in heroin or opium, and possession of Schedule II controlled substance. McMahon was jailed under $45,000 secured bond in the Caldwell County Detention Center. A superior court date was scheduled for August 5th. A Granite Falls man was arrested for assault and firearm possession. 34-year-old Kevin Lee Hill of Gold Finch Court in Granite Falls was arrested on Tuesday by Lenore police officers. He was charged with one felony count, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. Hill was also charged with misdemeanor counts of assault by pointing a gun, injury to personal property, and discharge of a firearm violating a local ordinance. He was jailed under $40,000 secured bond in the Caldwell County Detention Center. A district court appearance is scheduled for August 15th and a Lenore woman charged with trafficking in heroin or opium. 21-year-old Alicia Ann Bolick of Rattlesnake Lane in Lenore was arrested on Tuesday by Caldwell County Sheriff's officers. She was charged with felony counts of trafficking in heroin or opium and possession of methamphetamine. Bolick was jailed under $25,000 secured bond in the Caldwell County Detention Center. She is scheduled to appear in district court on August 15th. She is scheduled to appear in district court on August 15th. I'm Ariana Mack for WHKY. Thank you, Ariana. With details on arrests in Catawba County cases, here's WHKY's Rob Eastwood. A Hickory man faces sexual exploitation charges. The suspect was arrested earlier this week and placed in the Catawba County Detention Facility here in Newton. He will appear in a courtroom in the building just behind me in August. 48-year-old Jose Manuel Vega Gonzalez of 2nd Avenue Southeast in Hickory was arrested Wednesday by Hickory police. He's charged with second-degree sexual exploitation of a minor and third-degree sexual exploitation of a minor. Vega Gonzalez was confined in the Catawba County Detention Facility under $25,000 bond. A district court date is set for August 5th. 37-year-old Ashley Elaine Pope of Deal Road in Claremont was arrested Wednesday by Alexander County Sheriff's officers. She's charged in Catawba County with felony possession with intent to manufacture, sell, and deliver Schedule II controlled substance along with misdemeanor counts of possession of drug paraphernalia and resisting a public officer. Pope was detained in the Catawba County Detention Facility under $50,000 bond. A superior court date is scheduled for August 5th. The next suspect is a Burke County resident who has been charged with drug offenses here in Catawba County. 33-year-old Nathaniel Lee Shin of Dickerson Court in Connolly Springs was arrested Tuesday by Hickory Police. He's charged with possession of fentanyl, felony possession of Schedule II controlled substance, felony and misdemeanor probation violation, misdemeanor breaking and entering, and noise ordinance violation. Shin is on probation as a result of convictions in January of this year in Catawba County for felony possession of Schedule II controlled substance, along with misdemeanor counts of larceny and breaking and entering. He was jailed in the Catawba County Detention Facility under $27,700 bond. 28-year-old Israel Jonathan Wise of Pewitt Park Drive in Conover was arrested Wednesday by authorities in Catawba County. He's charged with felony attempted larceny. Wise was incarcerated in the Catawba County Detention Facility under $2,000 bond. A superior court date is set for August 19th. Reporting from the Catawba County Justice Center in Newton, I'm Rob Eastwood, WHKY News. Thank you, Rob. We're not quite finished yet. 
51-year-old Nadine Chesick of Morganton has been charged with driving while impaired, damage to property, an open container violation, and failure to reduce speed. She was charged in connection with an incident at about 1.20 Wednesday morning when Morganton Public Safety responded to REAP Drive in reference to a single vehicle crash. Upon arrival, officers saw a car that had struck an unoccupied block building. The vehicle left the right side of the highway and traveled 394 feet, jumping a ditch, striking a guy wire, and coming to rest just inside the building. The driver was identified as Nadine Chesick, who admitted to consuming alcohol and taking medications. Officers reportedly saw open containers in the vehicle. Chesick was evaluated and transported to UNC Blue Ridge Health in Morganton for treatment of minor injuries. Chesick has a first appearance in district court scheduled for September 9th in Morganton. At last report, she remained in the hospital. 61-year-old Randall Edward Cook of Cool Park Road Northeast in Hickory was arrested by Hickory Police Monday on one felony count of failure to appear. Cook reportedly failed to appear in court on a charge of possession of methamphetamine. He was taken into custody without incident just before 9 a.m. Monday at a shopping center and church on Springs Road Northeast in Hickory. Cook was placed in the Catawba County Detention Facility with bond set at $6,000 secured. He remained in jail as of this afternoon. An appearance in Superior Court was scheduled for September 3rd in Newton. And 47-year-old Scotty Dean Eastham of 4th Street Place Southwest in Hildebrand was arrested by Hickory Police Monday night on one felony count of uttering a forged instrument. He also had an outstanding warrant from Burke County for driving while license revoked, dating back to last year. Eastham turned himself in at about 10.20 p.m. at the Hickory Police Department. He was placed in the Catawba County Detention Facility under a $3,000 bond. He remained in jail as of Thursday afternoon. A first appearance in district court was scheduled Tuesday with another court date coming up on August 20th in Newton. An appearance in a Morganton courtroom was set for August 12th. That'll do it for today's crime report. Thanks for joining us. For WHKY, I'm Ralph Mangum reminding you to keep it clean and keep it legal. Thank <laughs> you.